In the realm of entertainment, there are those whose influence transcends time, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of audiences worldwide. One such individual stands out for his comedic prowess and ability to forge connections across generations. His talent and unique persona have etched him into the fabric of entertainment history, creating a lasting legacy that continues to resonate. As we explore the life and career of this iconic figure, we invite you to share your fondest memories and personal anecdotes in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the narrative of his impact on fans around the globe. Stay tuned as we uncover intriguing and heartwarming facts about this beloved entertainer. Join us on this journey to discover more about the man behind the laughter. We eagerly await your stories and reflections in the comments below. Together, let's celebrate the enduring spirit of this legendary entertainer. In the realm of comedy, there exists a figure whose influence stretches far beyond the screens of his era. His antics, expressions, and timing not only entertained audiences, but also shaped the very essence of humor and entertainment. This individual's comedic prowess continues to inspire generations of performers and remains ingrained in the fabric of Hollywood to this day. Throughout the annals of comedic history, there emerges a luminary whose impact transcends mere laughter. He, alongside his cohorts, revolutionized the art of slapstick comedy, imprinting it into the collective consciousness of audiences worldwide. The antics displayed on the silver screen weren't just moments of amusement, but rather milestones that forever altered the landscape of entertainment. Beyond the confines of the movie set, his influence echoed through the corridors of comedy clubs and the stages of theaters. Countless comedians and actors found inspiration in his work, shaping their own craft and his likeness. His comedic stylings became a blueprint, a guiding light for those who sought to elicit laughter from audiences. In essence, his contribution to the world of entertainment is immeasurable. Through his comedic genius and memorable performances, he carved out a niche that continues to reverberate throughout Hollywood. His legacy serves as a testament to the enduring power of laughter and its ability to transcend time and space. Following the passing of one of the members of the iconic comedy trio in 1952, the second stooge succumbed to complications from a stroke. He left behind a lasting impact, survived by his children, actress Phyllis and John. Despite facing challenges like the cancellation of their contract, he, along with the remaining stooges, persevered. They went on personal appearance tours and eventually reunited with their studio in 1959 for a series of feature films. Among their projects was a television pilot titled The Three Stooges Scrapbook, blending live action and animation in color. Although it initially faded from view, segments found their way into subsequent works like The Three Stooges in Orbit, showcasing the enduring spirit of the group. In the world of entertainment, there are often fascinating stories behind the scenes that shape the careers of beloved performers. One such tale involves a trio of comedic legends who faced a legal quagmire that tested their bonds and ultimately reshaped their dynamic. Back in the day, when the Three Stooges decided to part ways with their manager, Ted Healy, and their studio MGM, they found themselves in a sticky situation with contracts. Mo Howard managed to secure a deal with Columbia Pictures, while another member unwittingly inked an agreement with Universal Studios. This disagreement landed them in court, where a judge ultimately favored Moe's contract due to its timing. Following this legal scuffle, one member of the trio chose to step back from the business side of things, leaving the negotiations and deals to his more assertive counterpart. From then on, he focused solely on perfecting his craft, leaving the business matters to others. This decision marked a significant shift in their dynamic, allowing him to concentrate on what he did best bringing laughter to audiences alongside his fellow performers. It's a reminder that even in the world of comedy, there can be serious business matters at play behind the scenes. But for this trio, their commitment to their art and each other ultimately prevailed. In the midst of fame and success, he faced many personal challenges. Balancing his career with his family life was tough, leading to problems with his relationships and co-workers. Despite his fame, he struggled with self-doubt and tried to find comfort in different ways. But acting became his refuge, helping him escape from reality, especially through comedy. Despite all the difficulties, he kept going, leaving a strong mark in the world of entertainment. His story shows how people can overcome tough times and inspire others. He touched the hearts of millions through his roles, becoming a symbol of hope for those going through similar struggles. Even though he's gone, his laughter lies on in the memories of cinema history. This story shows the power of resilience and determination, something we can all learn from. Larry Fine, a member of the Three Stooges, recounted how Harry Cohn, the head of Columbia Pictures, valued their comedic talent. 
During the late 1950s, when other studios were abandoning short films, Cohn assured them of their job security. However, after Cohn's passing in 1958, Columbia ceased its short film production, leaving Larry and his colleagues unemployed. In his younger days, Larry trained as a boxer until his father intervened and halted his boxing career. Nevertheless, his boxing skills proved beneficial when he joined Ted Healy's act, and later the Three Stooges. A mural of him adorns a building in South Philadelphia at 3rd and South Streets. It serves as a tribute to his contributions to comedy. In the midst of Hollywood's walk of fame, a remarkable tale unfolds one of persistence and commitment. Three entertainers lauded for their timeless impact on comedy earned a star on this famous boulevard, drawing throngs of fans to witness the occasion. Despite facing unusual living situations, they remained unwavering in their quest to spread laughter and happiness. The trio, led by Larry Fine, journeyed through the unpredictable world of showbiz, refining their comedic skills in small clubs and rundown theaters before making it to the big screen. Their unique humor not only entertained, but also connected with audiences on a deep level. It showcased the human spirit's ability to overcome challenges with laughter as its most potent tool. With each stumble and punchline, they etched a lasting story in the history of comedy, inspiring future generations. As their stars shone brightly on the Walk of Fame, it served as a reminder that genuine success isn't solely measured by fame or wealth, but by the enduring impact one leaves on others' hearts. In the journey of Larry Fine's career, personal tragedies often intertwined with his professional path. His wife, Mabel Haney, suffered a sudden heart attack while he was away for a live show. Upon hearing the devastating news, he swiftly returned home. Throughout his long career, Larry primarily shared the screen with fellow stooge Mo Howard. However, there was one exception. In a particular film, he stood alone without his usual comedic counterpart. Tragedy struck again when he lost his son John in a car accident and later his daughter Phyllis to cancer. John's passing occurred in 1961, while Phyllis succumbed to cancer in 1989. Despite life's challenges, he persisted in his career, leaving a lasting impact on the world of comedy. In the world of entertainment, there are stories of triumph and tales of exploitation. One such story revolves around a comedian, an actor who grew up in South Philadelphia. His parents ran a watch repair and jewelry shop, shaping his early years. Later, he found himself in the hills of Griffith Park, where his journey in entertainment truly began. In 1973, there was an infomercial promoting a book titled A Stroke of Luck, presented as his memoir. Unfortunately, he later disowned this book due to how the author and publisher took advantage of him. The authorized biography, One Fine Stooge, published in 26, sheds light on this exploitation. Despite facing setbacks, he remains a beloved figure in comedy, known for his humor and talent on screen. His story serves as a reminder of the highs and lows of the entertainment industry, showcasing resilience in the face of adversity.